Ever been lied to? Horrible, isn't it? And when you are lied to repeatedly, and you know you're being lied to repeatedly, and when you complain or when you point out inequities or when you point out the untruths, you're told that you're crazy. That's the kind of thing we're going to talk about today. Deception, being deceived by a hijackal through lying and manipulating and all the things that go with that, why you allow it to happen, why they keep doing it, and some good broad strokes for the next best steps to making it stop. Stay tuned. Welcome to Save Your Sanity, help for handling hijackals, those difficult, toxic, and often disturbing people in your life. I'm Dr. Roberta Shaler, the Relationship Help Doctor, and I'm here for you. You'll get the insights, skills, strategies, and support to stop tolerating verbal and emotional abuse, whether it's happening now or it happened to you in the past, maybe by a parent, partner, ex, relative, or even a co-worker. Time to take life back, to recover and to rediscover you, your values, dreams, desires, and realize them in healthy ways in healthy relationships. I'm so glad you're here. Hello and welcome. I'm glad you're here. If you're returning and you found value before, I'm delighted. If you're new, I'm glad you found us. And today I'm going to be talking about something that sometimes we don't even want to let ourselves believe. And that is that we are being lied to. And I can 100% guarantee you that if you are with a hijackal, one of those relentlessly difficult, toxic people that I talk about so much, you are being lied to. Maybe big lies, maybe small lies, maybe lies that are convenient one moment and they change the next, but you are being lied to, right? And you know that. So whether it's outright deception or it's just kind of misconstruing, deflecting or distracting, whether it's a lie of commission, so they outrightly lie, or a lie of omission, they just leave something out that is vital to the truth, <clears throat> they're all lies. And they're deceptions. And to deceive is to cause someone to believe something that is not true. And typically, especially for hijackals, in order to gain some personal advantage. So they have a deep desire to deceive because they want that personal advantage, whether it's in the moment or in the relationship or all the time. So we want to understand this completely. And I want to give a few good thoughts for you to consider because it is essential to recognize what's going on and then to know why that may be something you're not addressing. Maybe you don't know how to address it. So at the end, I'm going to give you some ways to address it. But I want you to get in touch with the fact that I know I'm being lied to. I know I'm being deceived. And I want to have a good look at that right this moment. Then you may have to listen to this broadcast several times. Now, if you're new to the idea of hijackals and you don't really understand, I do have an e-course called Seeing the Cycles. It's a home study program, 13 videos. Each video um, has written words and journal items. So it will lead you through truly understanding what it is like to be with a person with hijackal tendencies. Now, a hijackal in my terms, for those of you who haven't heard it before, it, this is my trademark term because I don't believe we need uh, mental health diagnoses. I don't think we need that in order to understand the patterns, traits, and cycles of toxic people. So I just call them hijackals, and that saves us a whole lot of time and energy because most people are not mental health professionals, so you can't diagnose them anyway. So if you want to look at the Seeing the Cycles program, go to my website, Transforming Relationship dot com just one transforming relationship dot com and click on the store you will see my books there you'll see my e courses there you'll see everything so do see the cycles clearly you want to see all of them and that will help you understand and then you will 
have a framework even better to put these things in. So I want to address the issue right this second of why do you let them lie to you? Now, I know that that sounds like you should know that they're lying to you and you may or may not. But if you have an inkling that they're lying to you, Or if other people have told you that they're lying to you, let me just put these thoughts out there to see if any of these are actually true for you. So you you don't confront what you think may be a lie or you don't ask questions because you want to believe it's true. And if it's true, then everything is all right in your world and you don't feel disrupted. You don't have to worry. Your greatest fears are not realized. So first and foremost, you want to believe what they're saying to you. And that can be really difficult because sometimes they are telling you that you are a bad person or they're making everything your fault. You don't want to believe that. But I mean, when they tell you things, they make you promises, they tell you how things will be, they indicate that you'll be together forever. All of those kinds of things deserve your scrutiny. So one reason that you may just let those lies pass is you want to believe it so you don't have to do anything. Another reason is you so want it to be true when it's a positive thing. You know, I I know of a man who used to pride himself on calling himself a straight arrow, that he would never lie. He would never do anything wrong. He, He was always faithful. He would never betray. He would never lie. And then he was caught in all of it. So the woman wanted to believe he was a straight arrow as he said he was, but none of his behavior showed that. But she really wanted it to be true because it suited how she wanted things to be. So that may be why you're buying the lie. Another reason you're just not up for the confrontation. You don't have the energy for it. You don't think you'll win and you probably won't. Um, But you have the opportunity to at least say, I don't believe it. But sometimes that in itself will cause such a row, such a confrontation, such a six weeks of silent treatment or withdrawal or withholding that you just don't have the energy for the confrontation. There's nothing wrong with these reasons. I just want us all to realize these are some of the reasons that we don't confront the lying. So another one, you just don't want the drama. You know they're going to play the victim or they're going to become the aggressor. They're going to be the emotional vampire. They're going to come out, how dare you say that to me? And who do you think you are? Or they're going to play the victim part, as I said. Oh, nobody ever believes me. And people always say bad things about me. And, you know, you never loved me. Either way, too much drama and you just don't want it, so you don't confront the lie. Another reason is you don't want to change. You don't want the change even, because it's convenient not to confront the lie. Or maybe the timing is just bad. Maybe you're going through a really stressful period and you just don't have the energy for it. And the timing would be just bad if things went sideways, so you don't do it. And the last one I want to put out there is that you may be in denial. You may believe that that hijackal won't lie to you. They wouldn't lie to you. No, they have my best interest at heart. And if you're with a hijackal and you've listened to other podcasts, and I hope you have, or been to my YouTube channel, my YouTube channel is called For Relationship Help, F-O-R Relationship, H-E-L-P. If you've been there and listened to all these things, you may recognize the fact that you really want to believe that person is telling you the truth. And you have all the evidence that they're not. And other people are telling you they're not telling you the truth. And yet you don't want to confront it because you are just in denial. No, no, that can't be true. Because it means that maybe 
you have chosen the wrong person. Maybe other people told you you were making a mistake and now you have to recognize you did make a mistake. There are lots of reasons for going in denial, but none of them, none of them will serve you well in the long run. And it's really important to be playing on your own team. It's really important for you to be doing what you can do to have the very best life possible. One that is in integrity, one that you feel good about, one that lifts you up, one where you have a partner, a partner that has equality and reciprocity and mutuality, and that you you have each other's back and you walk by each other's side. These are things to strive for. But if you're with a hijackal, those things won't happen. Oh, yeah. 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 They will happen for a hot minute when they really, really, really want something from you. They will go back to being that person that you met, the one that was doing double flips and being the chameleon to be just who you want and to get you as quickly as possible. They'll go back to that. You know, we call that love bombing. And there's, there's a whole video on that. Um, but they'll rush back to that if they think you're not going to give them what they want. But none of these things are worth the price. The prices are very, very steep. And the price your children pay are also very steep. You may think that these things will postpone the pain. If you don't believe it, you don't want it to be true. You don't want the confrontation. You don't want the drama. You don't want change. You may think it's postponing the pain. It isn't. Things are getting more painful, more poisonous, more difficult. You're getting more resentful and worn down and put down and torn down as well. And one of the big reasons you don't do it is you're already exhausted. So if you keep not doing it, you're going to be more exhausted. So better start now. So why do the hijackals lie? Well, straightforwardly, hijackals want to control you. They want to control the situation and they want to control the consequences. So they have to lie because there are a lot of things you're not going to buy unless they package it the way you want to hear it. And that's not the truth. So unfortunately, they lie and they get in the habit of it and you get in the habit of believing them. And now we've got a real recipe for disaster. Hydricals lie because they gaslight you. To gaslight you means they want to be the one who just tells you how you feel and what you think and what you need and what you want and what you remember. Have you had that experience? They want to be the one who tells you what your reality is. That's gaslighting. And they lie to you in order to gaslight you. And that is another huge reason. They also lie because it's convenient in the moment. Now, the thing about hijackals is everything is pretty much in the moment. They need to win in the moment. They need to be right in the moment. They need you to be wrong in the moment. They need to take charge in the moment. And so in the moment, they will lie because it's convenient. Another reason they lie is the truth would tarnish their image. And they're very, very afraid of being shamed. So if they told the truth, they wouldn't look good. So they lie. And of course, every hijacker has to believe they're the smartest person in the room. So therefore, they think you'll never catch them or stand up to them. And when you do, they're going to squash you like a gnat. And be prepared for that. They're very good at that. But you don't want to live like this forever, right? You want to get out of this someday. You want a relationship that is loving and respectful and honest and trusting and reliable. You want some joy. You want some partnership. And so you have to get up on your back legs and say, no, this is no good. I can't be living in a place where I am constantly being lied to. And hijackals will just lie because they can So hopefully none of those things is okay with you on any level. So let's shine a little light into those shadows, shall we? So what do you do to stop? Now, you know that I talk a great deal about the 
personal weather report technique that I wrote about in Kaizen for Couples. I highly recommend you get that book. It's available in print and for download on Amazon. It's Kaizen for Couples, K-A-I-Z-E-N, or if you're Canadian, K-A-I-Z-E-N, for Couples, How to Save, Sustain, and Strengthen Your Relationship. And in there, they're full of communication strategies, conflict management strategies, ways to handle things with any other human being, even though it is written for a partner relationship. It works for everyone. And the personal weather report is something I really invite you to master. That's chapters five and six. Chapter five is how to deliver a personal weather report. And it takes a lot of practice because it's simple, but not easy. And chapter six is how to respond to a personal weather report given by somebody else. So first of all, you need that technique. So go and get Kaizen for couples and learn that technique. So here's what we have to do to stop. First of all, you have to kind of have a little word with yourself, be self-reflective. Do I want this to continue? Even though I have all those good reasons for not stopping it, my life is going by. My children's lives are going by. Do I really want my life to look like this? Being in a relationship where I'm constantly lied to. So the big question you have to ask yourself is, better now than a year from now. You're going to have to change. You're going to have to step up to it at some point, or you're just going to be exhausted. You're going to turn yourself into a pretzel and then into a doormat, and then you're going to be so downtrodden that it may be really much more difficult than it is right this moment to pick yourself up. So first of all, timing. Tell yourself, no, it can't go on like this any longer. And then face the truth. I've given you lots of ways to notice how they lie and why they lie. So face the truth. If you have a hijackal relationship, and remember, you can get my free ebook, How to Spot a Hijackal. If you haven't already, just go to hijackals.com. That's hijackals.com and get the free ebook there and check it out. Make sure you're with a hijackal. It'll tell you. And then face the truth of that. Okay, this person does have the patterns, traits, and cycles of a hijackal. And on no level is this okay with me. So you need to see it as it is, not as you want it to be. See it as it is, not as you wish it were. And then examine your options. Okay, now, first of all, you could use the personal weather report, which is a great starting point because that's going to strengthen your own inner understanding. It's going to strengthen your communication skills. It's going to validate the fact that you deserve to have your thoughts and feelings and needs and wants and to express them. It'll help you become assertive. And those are options that you have. The hijackal is never going to take this lying down. The hijackal is never going to take this in an easy way. So don't think there's an easy way. There isn't. But you need to empower yourself by learning how to speak up, not how to confront, not how to be in their face, not how to call them out. No, you have to come from within and empower yourself to have the life that you want. So you're going to look at your options, the communication strategies. You're going to look at your boundaries to see, are you setting any? And if the ones you're setting, are they non-negotiable? Because if you have boundaries that are negotiable, it's just going to go spilling all over the place. And then it's time to take action. And I'm always here to help you. You know, for new clients, I offer a one hour full session for only $97. And that way we can find out what's going on for you and what's the outcome you want. And I will certainly tell you how I can help you. And then after that, you can choose a package of sessions. So if you're interested in talking to me for that one hour, go to beaclient.com. Beaclient.com.
That's my website where you can immediately make an appointment. So I hope that this has caused you to sit up and take notice a little bit, to feel empowered that you really can do something. You don't have to be the victim, the re- the unwilling recipient of a whole lot of lying. There are things that you can do. I hope you will do them. I am happy to help you. You can always come over to my website, transformingrelationship.com, get the Seeing the Cycles program there, watch the other podcasts there. Everything is there for you on transformingrelationship.com. I hope this has been valuable to you, and I'm so glad we spent this time together. If you enjoyed it, please come back and tell your friends to join you too. I look forward to talking with you soon, and in the meantime, take very good care of yourself because you matter. Talk soon. I'm so glad you spent this time with me today. I hope you heard something that touched your heart and empowered you to move forward. You can have the life and relationships that you most want, and that begins with you within you today. I'm always here for you. Life can get better, and you heard that from me, the Relationship Help Doctor. I'm Roberta Shaler, and I work with clients throughout the world through video conferencing. We can talk. So learn more at 4relationshiphelp.com, F-O-R, relationship, H-E-L-P.com, Or visit me on YouTube at For Relationship Help. Join me for next week's show.